Welcome back guys. Today we are in the radiology building. This is the mechanical room. I'm going to go over the equipment really quick in this room. This CT cabinet brings our wire from the transformer into this 800 amp switch gear and all of these have different disconnects going all over the place. This was all existing but these wires we pulled to go into a 600 amp disconnect and this 600 amp disconnect is jumping off to a transformer which we don't have yet but then from the transformer it's going to downstep for a 200 amp three phase disconnect for a Siemens panel board for an MRI machine. So basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start the install of this square D panel. I did already post me installing the other side with the Siemens MRI board, which basically has like a chiller on it. Um, I already posted that on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to put it right here, but I also did link it below in case you guys want to check it out. So mounting this panel is going to be a bitch and a half, unfortunately, and it ends up becoming an absolute disaster. So let's go over it. First off, I'm completely by myself. Everybody else is on a giant generator job, which evidently is going to end up being me as well, but we're not going to talk about that yet. So basically what I'm doing is I'm measuring out the entire width and length of the panel so that way I can differentiate where the screw should go and I can pre-drill the screws so that way I can mount way easier. And this is my new Klein tools. It's like a um, screwdriver, but it's also a socket set and it's magnetic and it clips into the impact and it's awesome. I'm gonna put the name right here and the link is also below. You can see this is my first time with this tool. I'm struggling, but I figured it out. And I ended up using it as the socket set from my screws. Huge disclaimer here. I did not cut this piece of plywood. This was all that was left on the site. The piece of plywood on the left is was already mounted by the contractors, but they forgot that I needed some on this side. So don't come at me. This was not me. I probably would have cut it worse if I did it, to be honest with you. Mounting this one-handed by myself was definitely a struggle, and I didn't have the right screws because, like I said, I wasn't really planning on putting this up, but I eventually got the right screws, and I got it in. The fact that this bottom right corner is all crooked is messing me up, so I needed to double check with the level because it didn't look level to me. All right, so next up is making my measurements for the screw holes. I'm basically just marking out where the screw holes are on the disconnect as compared to where I want them to be on this piece of plywood. So that way I can pre-drill them and then just drop the panel on instead of trying to hold up the panel with one arm and drill with the other. That fits for the bird. All right, now moment of truth. Let's see how level these screws were and let's see how easily I can get this up. Hopefully I can do it first try because it was really not feeling like doing it multiple times. This shit gets heavy after a while, even though it's not heavy now. And we got it up there first try. So I just tightened the top two bolts and now I'm gonna do bottom two. Now it's time to knock out the center knockout at the top, I don't know why this square D, usually I don't have an issue with square D, but this square D panel only knocks out from the top or the side. So I'm knocking out at the top and then I'm gonna strip this giant MC and get it in with a piece of EMT on top. Let me show you what I mean. I was pulling the wire there. I'm at the fucking, I'm at the fucking medical building right now. I'm gonna mount that other switch. All right, let me call him and see. And that was my call to the next job. So I'm gonna try and get as much done here as I can, and then I gotta head there. So we're gonna start by stripping this MC. Are you pulling wire already or no? You're struggling? What do you mean nothing fits? What size pipe is it? Wait, it has what he needs, but I don't know if I have all the sizes for it. Of course, I get pulled off the shelf. 
So now that I knocked it out and put the connector in, let's see how good I'm going to be at getting this piece of pipe with this MC up into this panel without breaking my damn back. Realistically, you can come down with just the MC, which I did do on the load side of this, but I'm not going to do it here because there is way too much wall. I don't feel comfortable just dropping MC down. I think it'll look like shit. So that's why I'm putting a piece of pipe here. Now I'm just going to stare at this and try to figure out how the hell I'm going to pick this whole piece up and get it into that panel because it's just not making sense in my head yet, but we're going to get there. So luckily for me, I thought ahead and I didn't fully strap this MC, which is going to give me a little bit of wiggle room. The MC does not bend well, but if I can do like a big bend, like a wide one, I think I'll be able to get the pipe into the ceiling and then drop it down, which is exactly what I did. So I'm gonna keep this running so you guys can see what it really is like to struggle with this because in all of my like short videos, you never see me really, really struggling, but the struggle is real sometimes. So I'm gonna let you watch exactly how long it took me to do this. And it doesn't help that I am under a time crunch and they are waiting for me at this other job, which you will literally see the whole rest of the job soon. I'm excited to show you that part. It's going to be in the rest of this video, but I'm struggling here. So, and it also doesn't help that the manufacturer, listen, I love square D, but this panel is not it. The top knockout is literally right in the center of this panel, which means I'm basically coming in on the logs. And if you're using anything bigger than 4 aught, which is what you would use for a 200 amp disconnect, it is not going to go through nicely. I'm like hitting these logs. I'm like trying so hard to get away from this whole area here. But like, come on, I need a different knockout area. All right, so I finally got it. Now I just need to level it out and get it through that final spot and clip it into the coupling, which I just did. And I'm sweating my ass off right now because I was on such a time crunch to do this that I have never pushed so hard to get that done in my life. So we're gonna strip it back, get it all set up so that way when I do get back, all I have to do is face tape and terminate. And this is done for the day. Like I said, if you guys want to see the other videos on this job, I even posted them onto my YouTube shorts. So if you want to see them there, also they're on all the other social media platforms as well. Uh, but I didn't end up taking the terminating ones with my camera. Now let's get to this other job as fast as I can. I have to go to another job, but I'm back. We got a lot done though. Now I just have to terminate. The reason that I went to that medical building is, and I'm sure you've seen it in my other videos if you guys follow me on any other social media platform, we're going to install 225 kVA transformer. And so what I was doing today, so we jumped off of an 800 amp switch gear into a 600 amp disconnect. Um, I didn't do that part. Another guy and um, one of my apprentices did that part. Well, it's like a whole thing. It's like a, I'll, I'll draw it out so like you understand the process. But I got called because I'm the only one with a metric Allen key set. So now I have to run to another job. It's probably like 20 minutes away, it's nothing crazy, but 
we are pulling wire for a generator for a sewer pump station and it's gonna be four up parallels that we're running and so I have to head over there and help pull the wire and shit. Hopefully I'm not there full for the full day so I can go back and finish face taping and um, landing my wires and then in the other room I started I posted it on TikTok yesterday, I'll show you right here. I installed a 480 panel yesterday that I got the wire in for, for four up, but I need to phase tape it because I didn't have the um, 277 480 phase tape, so I just got it today. So hopefully I get back to the medical building, but let's go to the sewer station and let's pull this fucking wire because they're having trouble. All right, so this town's sewer pump station basically was running off a temporary generator from United Rentals for a while and whenever their power went out that's what they used and so we're basically cleaning out all the temporary wiring and we're going to be running our nice high voltage 4 out wire here in parallel sequence so that way we can get from the control room all the way into this generator. I don't know the story behind this generator. I think it was already here and I think it just needed new wire runs. I think there might have been an explosion or something previously. I have no idea, but we got the bid, so we're gonna do it. Basically, all the pipe and everything was already run. We just needed to refeed new wire through, and that's what I'm doing here. So I'm usually on the generator side for most of these because of my experience pulling and pushing the wire. So feeding the wire through with the first set of parallels was kind of a bitch. We weren't really prepared and we didn't really have a game plan going, so I was on one side. But this is the second round where I got my apprentice Kyle to help me feed the wire in. And that one went through way smoother. This was like a pretty far run, I'm not gonna lie. It was at least 100 feet, if not more. And it had to go through a manhole, so we needed somebody inside the manhole that was making sure that the wire didn't get stripped from one pipe to another. So this took us a little bit longer than I anticipated. And then I got stuck here landing everything into the generator side. We had another guy landing everything into the panel side, which I'm not going to show because that's none of y'all's business, but this is my job here, so we're going to record this one. Um, these wires for Fora, is, they're not too hard to bend, but they're definitely not easy in a confined space like this, so majority of the day was pushing these wires in and terminating and it did start to rain on me. Also, if you guys are interested in the tool that you see under my stomach, that's the Klein Tools uh, stripper set that I use for anything above two watt, and it really does help, and I'm gonna link it below in the description. And yeah, so also those are my Milwaukee electric cutters. I can link those in the description too. All this stuff makes my job 10 times easier, and I get done way faster, so. Any other tools that I could help you guys with, you guys comment below and I'll definitely add more tools. But I'm basically just showing you the process of me terminating all of this stuff. These wires, like I said, are kind of a pain in the ass, but once you land them, they're not bad. So for those of you who don't know about color schemes and everything, I'm gonna go over this color scheme, which is just the high voltage 277 480 and these colors are always brown orange and yellow in that sequence which is boy if anybody says that to you that's what that means and the neutral conductor is a light gray it's not white and then the ground is you know the ground as usual but this is always for the high voltage colors if you were to be doing 240 480 that would be black red blue or brb and that neutral would be white so just so you can understand why I'm using these colors. Also, thank God my company got the actual colored wires in for this system. If you could see in the other video, the earlier job that I was at, we don't have a color coded system for that. And um, that's also 277, 480. So I'm gonna have to phase tape the shit out of those wires. So it just saved me a lot of time that we had already gotten the color scheme wires there on the job site. Plus it was raining, so I don't know how well that face tape would have stayed. And I'm a perfectionist, so those yellow wires are just not doing it for me. I'll show you how I fix them later. But basically, I torque them down a little bit, and then afterwards, I move them so that way they're in the place that I want to, and then I torque them to the lug spec so that way they are not gonna go anywhere and I have no issues. So just for those who are gonna say, after you moved it, why didn't you retighten it? I did. I did. Don't worry. So yeah, 
So these are the scrap wires that we have. We're just gonna tape all these together and that's what it looks like. I feel like I did a pretty neat job. I have OCD, so you know I wasn't gonna leave there if it didn't look good. But then we had lunch and by the time it was lunchtime, there was no shot that I was going back to that job because by the time I got there, it wouldn't have even, I wouldn't have even had time to do anything. So again, here is the generator side. I took a lot more videos on my phone for this job, so I'm gonna link it in my bio if you guys wanna see what the other parts of this sewer station looked like. All right, so they needed me way longer than I anticipated them needing me. So I stayed for the whole job. It was over a 100 foot run and we were doing four up parallels, so whatever. Um, but that's it for the day. I will take another video tomorrow when I'm done with this job and I'm on to the medical building again. And I'll show you guys my face taping and my terminating skills. But that's it for tonight. My job is done. See ya.